Daniel Borland. <laughs> the owner shot back in town, my <laughs> love it. Here we go. Me belt out of, me belt out of Muay Thai, I'm a little late, run a little late. Thanks, Jay, good man. Uh, Connor, Connor down to your left. Adam Hill and Heidi Fang here at Park Theatre at Park MGM, formerly the Monte Carlo, where we just saw one of the more bizarre press conferences you're ever going to see, but I guess that happens anytime Conor McGregor is involved. Heidi was crazy. Khabib came out right at 3 o'clock by himself. No Dana White, no Conor McGregor. We know Conor is usually late. This was the counter for Khabib. He just says, you know what, I'm going out there. I don't care who's there. And it was a smart game plan because what Conor loves to do and he does so well is he gets into his opponent's heads. Now, I th I'm thinking this whole week that he's already in Khabib's head, but this was quite a play in the chess game. And I think for Khabib, it shows that he's not intimidated. He's going to do what he wants to do. And, uh, you know, Conor missed a huge opportunity to really stick it to him and, and to really press that mental game going into this fight. Yeah, if Conor did have really direct shots to take at Khabib, he really didn't get to get them out because there was no Nurmagomedov on stage with him. Nurmagomedov waits 15 minutes. He answers questions the full time, looks at his watch and says, it's 3.15. I'm out of here. It's been fun. I'll see you guys on Saturday. He's got to go cut weight. And he said, listen, I'm on a schedule. Just like he wants to make everybody wait, I don't wait. And I thought that was a power play by Khabib to just say, I'm the champion. I'm going to do the press conference when it counts. And now I'm out of here. And you know, Connor's left there with, you know, by himself. He was fine. I think he even preferred it that way to just be able to have the stage to himself. But Dana White was left up there by himself for a while waiting for, for Connor. He took some questions. He kind of made jokes about being awkward. Uh, but in the end, uh, we hear a couple things from Nurmagomedov. We hear Connor go crazy. That's pretty much what we expected today anyway. Right, and it's been a while since Dana White actually sat before the press and answered a lot of questions. I think he uh, touched a little bit on the 165 belt. and Never happening. Never happening, so we can just stop all that talk right now. So that was, I think, something that needed to be touched on. Sorry, I'm pulling the mic away from you, but uh, I think the Dana never happening means it's happening very soon. That could be. That's usually how it goes if you've been a fan of the sport for at least a few years. You, you should have picked up on that by now. But, yeah, definitely uh, Dana White being up there was something we haven't seen. And then Connor coming out and getting to pump his whiskey, bringing out both of his belts like we maybe thought he would for the uh, mental game again against Khabib. But, you know, in, in the end, I think it was a fun press conference and tons of fans were here. The Irish definitely have landed uh, probably like twice, if not as three times as many people as were here for the open workouts were here today. Yeah, it was packed. Uh, Park Theater was packed and loud and rowdy. It's going to be only crazier the next 48 hours as they prepare for the fight. I don't think they're sleeping. I think they're going to be at the bar for 48 hours or at least finding liquor stores to buy the proper 12 Conor McGregor whiskey. Uh, they'll be ready for the fight in 48 hours. So will we. Check us out. ReviewJournal.com. Covering the cage. Heidi Fang, Adam Hill. We will see you guys from T-Mobile Arena Saturday night. It's going to be quite a show.